Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I would like to talk about the first P1 incident or priority one incident that I came across in the initial days of my Citrix career. So I was working for this company. This was many years ago and it's a very nice organization and different people were handling different roles and responsibilities so i was handling some roles in india and we had another team in europe so i was quite new to the team in fact most of my team members are quite new it's a new project so i was working very late and all of a sudden there was this priority one incident saying that some business application is not working so I was the only person in that particular time so I had to take care of it so uh, being a person who is completely new to Citrix especially to this Citrix environment I didn't know what to do <laughs> I had to troubleshoot and fix it because at the end of the day they want someone to fix the problem okay so no matter how many years of experience we have in the IT industry they want someone to solve the problem that is what they want so so when I received this incident or when I received this particular issue I had to troubleshoot so I started working so it was Citrix Zenapp environment, okay? Citrix Zenapp environment, and uh, I started troubleshooting. We had we had like I don't know 700 or 800 Zenapp servers, and uh, I looked for that uh, you know particular application and where it is hosted. I checked everything. Everything looks okay. Everything looks okay. Okay, I tried to launch it, and it was uh, it was launching for me okay internally from but from external network it is not launching okay so I didn't understand what is happening okay so I was I was completely new to Citrix uh, Zenapp environment and I, re, I I knew that there is this component called Citrix Netscaler or Citrix application delivery controller or Citrix Netscaler gateway you call it okay I knew that there is this component but I was not sure that you know we had to configure this uh, Citrix STA server which is secure ticket authority server okay so every session information is uh, stored on this STA server so we had to enter this uh, STA servers information on Citrix Netscaler Gateway configuration. Okay, when you are integrating Citrix environment with Citrix Netscaler Gateway, you have to enter STA service information under ST under Citrix Netscaler Gateway virtual virtual IP, and there is an option called Published Applications. I guess so. There you have to uh, enter this uh, STA service information. So what happened was I didn't know anything about this, so I started troubleshooting from you know my own skills I used it it was I checked everything everything looks okay so so it was already like I don't know one one and a half hours and we had to fix we had to solve this issue in a couple of hours maximum so and then I was like I thought okay maybe this is a network issue okay maybe this something is blocking from the firewall end okay so I went to the network team and I spoke to them Okay, I went to their desk and I started talking to them. Okay, there is this application working. I mean, users are connecting from external network and they are not able to access this particular application. Can you please check from your end? So the network team was like, they checked everything. And they checked their routers, firewalls and everything. And they said, okay, my, from, our, from our side, everything is working. So, so at this point in time, there is only one option that I had to uh, that I had to check which is Citrix Netscaler Gateway and I didn't have access to this 
machine. I didn't have access to Netscalers. So Netscalers are mostly handled by networking team. Okay, Citrix Netscaler, Citrix Netscaler Gateway. In some organizations, you may get access to Netscalers, but most of the time, this will be taken care by the networking team. So, but these guys didn't have access to Netscalers. Okay, they had access to firewalls, routers, and all. They didn't have access to Netscalers because these Netscalers were handled by our team who is at on site. Okay, so I didn't know this. I was completely new. So it was already late, and I called up one of the numbers. It's an emergency number. I called up and I said, This is the issue. And they were like, I know what is happening. And I was like, you know what is happening? And yes, they said, I know what is happening. So they just logged in. They logged into Citrix Netscaler and they configured this STS server. So what happened was they installed a new STS server. Okay, Citrix is an app, STS server, like 6.5. For whatever reason, they decommissioned one server and they installed a new server and they did not add the new server okay they removed the old one but they forgot to add the new server there so after i called them after i spoke to them they added this new sta server to that list and after adding it applications were launching successfully without any issues okay so all the external users who had issues accessing this uh, published application they were able to launch it and the issue was fixed so it is really important okay like you know whenever we work uh you know when the issue comes we think that it is only citrix problem but sometimes this could be something from a different team okay maybe some other team has to take care of this issue so we need to know exactly what components that we are handling okay what is our roles and responsibilities what uh, kind of uh, access that we have at the same time we should also know what kind of support you know a different team is handling you should know like okay who is handling citrix netscaler gateway so if you know all these details what you can do is at any point in time if you want to check something you can talk to them and you can get this issue resolved as soon as possible okay so finally we were able to solve this issue and users were able to launch the applications without any problem okay so yes so what i would like to say is like yeah it, it is it is really important to know what other components are being handled by other teams and their roles and, and the roles and responsibility of yours in the citrix infrastructure and also if you have like even though citrix netscaler gateway is not being handled by you if you know these details like if you know that okay citrix sta information uh, sta servers information need to be configured in citrix netscaler at least you can go and talk to them you can say that okay is the sta server up or down on citrix netscaler gateway how is it is it green or is it red what is what is the status so you can check all these details so uh, it is really good to have this um, fundamental knowledge okay you know you need not be an expert on netscalers and all but if you have this fundamental knowledge you can see the entire picture okay when you are when you understand the entire picture then you can uh, troubleshoot the issue you can uh, you know take things in the right direction all right i hope you uh, find this information helpful thank you for watching if you like this video like and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye